once we've selected or filtered our data, we often want to transform it somehow. The best way to transform data in Pandas data frames is with methods inherent to data frames. Next best is using NumPy ufunks or universal functions to transform entire columns of data element-wise. Let's have a look how this works. Suppose we want to convert sales numbers into units of whole dozens, rounded down, rather than individual item counts. The most efficient way to do this is to use a pandas built-in method like floridiv. Notice this arithmetic operation is applied to every entry in the data frame without writing any loops. Another way to do this uses numpy's floridivide function. Both of these strategies use vectorized or element-wise computation to repeat the same computation over an entire data structure without writing any loops. If pandas floridiv and numpy's floridivide were not available, we could make a custom function to do this. Here, we call it dozens. The data frame apply method, called here using dozens, executes that function with each entry of the data frame, again without writing any loops. Yet another way to achieve the same result is to use a lambda function with the apply method. The lambda keyword, followed by the input argument, a colon, and the output expression, provides a convenient one-line definition of a throwaway function. All of the preceding computations returned a new data frame without altering the original data frame df. To preserve a computed result, we can create a new column storing calculations. For instance, here we create a new dozens of eggs column in which the floridiv12 method is applied to the series df eggs. Both apply and vectorize methods work on series as well as on entire data frames. Moreover, filters and indices often provide subset series or data frames for transformation. Having worked with vectorized computation of a numerical series, let's look next at string operations. Notice the df.index attribute is itself a special kind of series containing strings in this instance. Data frames, series, and index objects all come with a handy .str attribute as a kind of accessor for vectorized string transformations. Here, we assign the index df.index.str.upper to make the index all uppercase. Again, notice we did not loop explicitly over the entire index. Instead, we applied vectorized string method to transform the entire index element-wise. For the index, there is no apply method. For the index, the relevant method is called map, an unfortunately different terminology. Thus, we can apply, say, str.lower, or a custom transformation to the index element-wise, using the map method instead. Many arithmetic operators, for instance the plus sign, work with data frames and series directly. Thus, here, we create a new column, salty eggs, by adding the salt and eggs columns together. If we can express a calculation using pandas alone, that's always preferable to using loops. That's an awful lot to absorb. Take some time now to work through the exercises using vectorized computations.